If you get a database from somebody that has, for example, in this database I have all the employees' names, and let's say you have all their names in, in uppercase or lowercase, you can easily convert those by using some of the forming this year. Instead of having to go through each name, if you have 20,000 names and making lowercase ax and uh, clinger, I mean, that would just take forever. So we want to use formulas instead. So I'm going to come over here, click in cell H6, and let's say for Max Klinger, I want it all lowercase. So I'm going to use the lower function. All I have to do is hit the equal sign, begin typing in the function L-O-W. There's lower. It's selected. Hit the tab key. And you can see it says converts all letters into a text string, lowercase. Hit the tab key. And it says, what cell are you referring to? Well, it's going to be this one. I can click on it automatically adds in C6 and hit enter and it takes that and it puts it all in lowercase max cleaner. What if I want it all in uppercase? Well, just hit equals and let's do upper. And you can see here it converts all of them to uppercase letters. Hit the tab key and then go ahead and click in the cell and hit enter and it's all uppercase. Now if I come over here and I, I click the cell and I click and drag its autofill handle here, the black cross all the way down, it automatically will go ahead and fill in the rest for me. So that's a lot faster than coming in here into each cell and then double clicking and then selecting their name and hitting the cap lock key and then typing it all again. Now you could ask me, and you probably will, let me hit enter, is that, well look, you're basing this upon this cell right here. In other words, this cell is a formula, it's not the actual text. And this cell actually has the text, and you can see that up in the formula bar. So how you get around this is that you could go ahead, and let's say you got everything perfect here. Click and select your range, and it has all these different functions here within each cell. That's fine. Just come up here and click on the copy button. Come over here and click in cell C6. And then instead of just pasting it, you want to click on the drop-down arrow up here for the paste function and you just want to paste the values. If you select paste values, all it does is it just brings over the values, not the function, because when I click in any one of these cells here, up at the top you actually get the values, the text. You don't come over here and get the function that comes with it. Let me go ahead and hit undo a couple of times here. And then I got these marching ants. Just hit escape on the keyboard to get rid of them. Now next we have what's called the uh, proper function, meaning look, I don't want it all lowercase or all uppercase. I want to be able to have the proper capitalization of somebody's name, where the first letter and the first name is capitalized, and also the first letter and the last name is capitalized. So let me click over here, type in equals, do proper, comes up, hit the tab key, and then it's referring to this cell, click on it, hit enter, and there we go. Instead of bringing in all caps, it just takes the first letter of the first name, is capitalized over here for Max and the first letter and last name Klinger. Then click in here, click and drag the black handle for autofill, and everybody else got the proper capitalization on the first and last names.